In this video, we provide the solution to question number three from the practice exam number two for Math 1050. Uh, we're given two complex numbers, three plus five i and one minus two i, and we're asked to compute the quotient of these two complex numbers, thus writing it in a standard form, a plus b i at the end. So when multiplying, I should say, when dividing complex numbers, we want to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So if you have one minus two i, it's conjugate be one plus two i. We switch the sign of the imaginary part. So we have to do that in the denominator, uh, in the numerator as well. In the denominator, we don't have to boil it all out uh, because of the way, the, the reason we're using complex conjugation here is that when you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, you're going to get a sum of squares of the real part and imaginary part. So you get one squared plus negative two squared. That's always how it's going to work out in the denominator. In the numerator, a proper foil is really necessary here. We're going to get three times one, which is three, three times two i, which is six i. Then we're going to get five i times one, which is a five i. And then lastly, we're going to get 5i times 2i, which gives us a negative 10. I took the liberty of noticing that i squared is equal to negative 1. All right, combining like terms in the numerator, we see 3 minus 10 is a negative 7. Uh, 6i plus 5i is 11i, like so. And then the denominators, uh, we have 1 squared is 1. And then negative 2 squared is a positive 4, like so. So the denominator is going to be 5. So breaking up the real part and the imaginary part, we have a negative 7 over 5, and then we have an 11 over 5i, like so. And therefore, we see that the correct answer would then be choice B.